This painting by Thomas Hart Benton, entitled Spring Tryout, is an excellent example of Benton's work as an American regionalist painter. His figurative paintings depicted everyday people in life in scenes around the United States, most often the Midwest. Like Grant Wood and John Stuart Curry, also known as regionalists, their focus shunned city life and rapidly developing technological advances to create scenes of rural life. Young Thomas spent much of his childhood between Missouri and Washington, D.C., as his father was a U.S. congressman. Early on, Benton found himself drawn to art, and in 1907, at the age of 18, he enrolled at the Art Institute of Chicago, later traveling to Paris for additional schooling. While serving in the Navy in World War I, he was directed to make drawings and illustrations of shipyard work and life for documentation purposes. This greatly influenced his later drawings of ordinary people and daily living. When he returned to New York, he began embracing naturalistic and representational work. These realistic depictions became his signature, and he broke into the mainstream art scene in the 1930s by creating commissioned murals. He was highly criticized for including controversial images, such as the Ku Klux Klan, in murals, as well as slavery. Benton later returned to Missouri, which allowed him greater access to rural America, which was changing rapidly during this time. Works such as Spring Tryout idealized rural living. In a letter dated March 24, 1971, to the McNider Art Museum, Benton said Spring Tryout had a story behind it. When I was a little kid in Neosho, Missouri, my family had an old buggy horse named Rex, a big horse. Rex, as he got old, was not used much and spent most of his time at pasture. With one of my friends helping, I got a halter on Rex one day in the spring and we set out to ride him, bareback, of course. My friend got on him first and I followed behind. Rex got frisky and suddenly started to run. I slid off over his tail not expecting his sudden activity. Benton painted, created murals, and taught until his death in 1975, while completing his final mural, The Sources of Country Music, for the Country Music Hall of Fame. <laughs>